So that brings up Max Fredrickson, currently sitting in fourth place. Oh man, he he knows what it tastes like to be on the podium. He wants to be back so bad. He 100% can do it. It's going to come down to can he squeeze in the combos. Max on course. Yeah, suicide no hander up, nose press 360 off. Yes, bar to bar backflip tuck no hander, perfect execution. Landing super high up on the tranny, keeping all the speed he needs, doing a trick in, on, and out of the switch. Oppo back and forth, truck driver. Come on, Mac. Alley 270, tuck no hander. He's tricking everything. Big double tail whip into the dirt pipe. Oh! <laughs> getting multiple combos off on every jump. Getting backside in. What's he got? Oh, triple truck driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was spotless. Keeping it exciting and on the edge from top to bottom. <laughs> spotless. Oh my goodness. What are the judges going to do with that? I think he may have backed more tricks than anybody into that run. Fedko can do it. Absolutely, he can. You can see second place on that those uh, placings. That was two. Emil. Let's Here see what go. he's got. Yes. Oh. Huge whip, whip to invert, using all of that time to his advantage. Big 360 oh. Indian air. Unbelievable on how precise he is on those landings. Nothing different on the flare. Bringing it in to the croc tail. Yeah. Truck to whip, straight out to a nice oh. downside. Keeping that momentum going. Okay, Fedco, let's keep it together, yes. buddy. 450 truck to X. He's got everything. Can he get it down on this final jump? Eric Fedco, 360 windshield wiper. He rides away. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he does not safe on the final feature by any means. Going for the jugular, that's the kind of thing you need to do if you want to beat Emil Johansson. Oh man, all oh, the stage is set. This is nuts. Yeah, he's not laying it up for anything, you know. He had such an amazing run there. If he was even struggling for speed, he could have yes! laid up, but that is not what he did. That 360 windshield wiper is straight off the top shelf of his trick bag, and we got to see it all. <laughs> Currently in second place, Nikolai Ragakin dropping in for his final run. Yes! There's that big cash roll again, <laughs> even cleaner than the first time. Greased. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Spins that twister. He's looking in the zone right here. Bar spins up. Yes. Foot jam on the top. Bar spins out. Nice tail. If you can see it building, here he comes into the croc tail. Yes. Huge extension again on the Superman Seeker at one-hander. Gets a tuck no-hander back in, so that's stepping it up from the first run. Come on. Gets that big double tail whip off. Get Flips the, the hip. Yes. He's on. Here we go. He has Coming more speed. Finish line. Nikolai Rigakin. Cash roll tail whip. Cash roll to home. He pulls it. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. Man. Give us the Sally. That is, yeah. that is the run he was going for. And we just got to see it here. Yes! In Kansas, Australia. <laughs> to say Nikolai went anywhere would be a shame, but I think it's safe to say he's back. Everybody runs away no! not wanting to get punched. <laughs> oh, man. So happy and excited for Nikolai to get that out. He's been trying to, he's been trying to release a run like that since we showed up in Innsbruck earlier this year. Spotless. Banger and spotless. Oh, run was insane. Oh, man. So that could possibly put some pressure on. It's going to be interesting to see what that score is. Oh, Nikolai stomped that cash he whip. One more time. Let's see the scores coming in. Let's get down to business. Here comes the score. A 94.75. Nikolai in the lead. Yes. <laughs> Wow! My man! Oh, what a show we have! <laughs>
Nikolai, it's been four years since you stood atop the Crankworx Slope-style podium. Talk to me about how good it feels in words. We've seen it.